What's up guys, I've reviewed a lot of headphones in the past and I'm pretty excited for today's one. This is the One More Comfo Buds Pro. They are a very good competitor to my Apple AirPods Pro and it's a lot cheaper. So I'm really excited to try this out because not only are these true wireless earbuds, but they also come with a complimentary app that allows you to do a lot of things with the earbuds themselves. Let's go ahead and unbox this, try it out, give you guys a audio sound test and see how it performs. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. So you can see it's got some nice little designs here from kind of like the wireframing design stages. Let's go ahead and open this. Now these are Quiet Max Active Noise Cancelling Wireless Earbuds. They come in roughly around 90 pounds on Amazon. They come in two colors as well. So this one is the one in white. The one in black is slightly more expensive, but they are just two colors at the moment. Okay, let's just take this out. You can see there's a, a few specs that are written on top of this plastic case. I'll cover the specs in a second. So there is the kind of eggshell shaped case there. So let's take this off. So in here are three pairs of replaceable ear tips. You also have a one more carry case. So this one is in white. So I presume you get a black one with the black headphones. And then you also have a USB-C charging cable. Now this is 28 hours of playback. So it's a very long battery life on this, which is very impressive. It also has fast charge as well. So you can get a full couple of hours within 10, 15 minutes of charging it. Underneath that, you also get this one more sticker. It's like a nice red one with a teddy bear. Then you also have a pretty big user manual covered in multiple different languages. So there's various different options that you can use with these headphones, which is why there's a lot of information in the user guide. And I will be covering some of them as well so you guys are aware. Now let's take a look at the headphones. So you open it up. It's a very familiar design. So they look very much like the Apple AirPods, but of course their specifications are slightly different. Compatible with both Android and iOS. There you go. That's how it looks. Pretty standard design, but I feel like they're going to be a very comfortable fit because it is quite a large ear tip just at the end of these. The case itself is made of plastic, so I feel like if you do drop this from a height, it might crack, you'll definitely get some scratches on it. But this can very easily fit in your pocket or your backpack or anything like that. So let me go ahead and pair this. So once I open this up, it pairs instantly with your phone. The one thing I really like about these headphones, which I've not seen in other true wireless earbuds like this, is that they have five levels of A and C. So take a list of all of the active noise cancellation modes that come with these buds. The first one, A and C strong, that's the default one. So that will give you up to 96% noise cancellation. Then you also have A and C mild, if you just wanna bring it down a little bit and just get a bit more ambient noises coming in. Then if you take this outdoors, there's also a third option called wind noise resistant. So if it's a little bit windy outside, but you still wanna hear the environment noises around you, the street, the roads, the pedestrians, whatever it may be, then that would be the perfect option to isolate the wind, but you still hear clear music. The fourth one is called pass-through mode. So that one has a very small amount of noise cancellation. You'll get a maximum amount of ambient noise, as well as getting a bit of maintenance on very clear audio and as well as the deep bass coming through. And then the last option is off, so no cancellation whatsoever. Now there's plenty of key specifications that's worth mentioning. I'll just list them out here. Go ahead and pause the video if you guys want to read more information about the capabilities of this. But let me go ahead and pair this with my phone now and I'll give you guys an audio test. There's a few things I want to do. I want to test out those five ANC modes. Of course, I'll let you guys know how the audio quality is, but what I want to do is see how much noise leak there is from these earbuds. So I'll bring this shotgun microphone that's just above my head, a little bit closer to my ears. I'll start off with ANC strong, which is the default mode. See if you guys can hear any of the music. I'll use the app and I'll showcase the app to you guys as well. And I'll switch through all the different ANC modes to see how much noise leak is coming. So. If you guys can judge based off of that to see how well this works, that's great. I completely understand you guys might be listening to this video in all different types of ways. Maybe you have some headphones from your laptop, maybe you're streaming it on a TV. So it might not be the most accurate test, but bear with me and hopefully you guys can get a good indication of how much leakage there is by using these different modes. So let me go ahead and do that now. 
Now that I have connected it to the Bluetooth, before I give you guys the audio test, what I want to do is showcase to you the app. So if you download the One More Music app, so when you do start using this app, this gives you a lot more flexibility of what you can do with the headphones and you can even reassign a few things for the touch controls. So let's go ahead and connect this. So this is the app. So pretty much it connected straight away by itself. I didn't really need to get involved or select it from any of the settings. It picked up the charging case nearby, the earbuds while they were in my ears, and it's already connected. And it's great to see the battery percentage as well through here. So as you can see the listening modes, this is where I was telling you a little bit about the different ANC modes. So strong, mild, pass through, wind noise resistance, which is WNR, and then you also have off. So right now, as you can see, it's off, but just quickly run through some of the other options here. You have smart playback. You can also do a couple of different things for what happens when you take these in and out of your ears. So like AirPods, you can actually remove it and it will automatically pause your music. And as soon as you put it back in, it will automatically start playing again by itself. So you can actually set that. And I actually like that feature. Not only does it work with music, if I've got this connected to my MacBook, then I can also use that with the on-demand services that when I'm watching my TV shows or my movies. So when I'm watching Netflix, it pauses the video when I remove it from my ears. And then when I put it back, it plays it again. So that in-ear detection is a really useful thing to have. If you don't like that, you can also turn it off from here. There's also some custom settings here. So for touching and holding, you can select what you'd like it to do. For double tap, you can select it. Obviously, if I go into double tap, there's some options here. Play and pause, I feel like that's the one I most commonly use. So I will leave it as that. You can also use it as the previous and next track. This is great because this actually allows you to be flexible on what to do independently for the left and the right ear pieces. Not only that, if you wanted to just listen to music in the left piece, for example, and not the right piece, you can do that. It's all independent and the music will continue playing in just one of them rather than having it required to play in both or none. And again, with the tapping three times, you can set what you'd like it to do. At the bottom, you also have a quick guide to use the product, so that's always useful to have. Now let's go ahead and play a song and I'll bring my microphone a little bit closer for you guys. Okay, so the microphone is here and I'm going to be setting this at 80% volume because it is quite loud and I don't want to hurt my ears to have it at 100% but this is a very sensitive microphone so you should pick it up. So let's start off and I'm going to have this on ANC strong, then I'll go to mild, then I'll work my way down to turn it off in those five modes that I mentioned earlier. ANC is strong, 80% volume. Now I'm switching to mild. Now to wind noise resistant. now to pass through. Finally, I'm turning it all off. All right guys, so what do you think? Can you guys slightly hear some of the noise leaks going through different modes? And to be honest, let me just say, 
As soon as I started playing, I immediately heard the deep bass and the quality in the audio was so good. It's actually so much more powerful than my AirPods Pro. So I'm super impressed with this, to be honest. And I feel like this is now going to be my top set of headphones that I'm going to use for my phone, for my MacBook. And just for the fact that I have these different levels of active noise cancellation, rather than what the majority of all my previous headphones that have that feature, of just either on or off, I think this does a great thing. So it gives you more freedom of whatever situation you're in, whichever place you're in, to be able to select what type of noise you want to be able to come into your earphones and what you can hear from the outside world. Now that is really great. And for the music and for watching movies and TV shows, I think this is a great set of headphones. I'm so impressed with this. It's no wonder that on Amazon, if you do take a look at all of the user reviews and not just my review here personally, I think pretty much all of them are like five stars and they've been really, really impressed with the quality on this. And I have to agree with that. One other test I really like to do as well to see what the audio quality is like for phone calls. So I want the person on the other end of the line to be able to hear me very clearly. Everyone is working remotely these days and also when I'm taking meetings at home, I want them to have very clear audio for everything that I'm saying as well. So I'm going to switch over the audio that you guys hear by recording a test sample by connecting this to my MacBook Pro, feeding this into an audio recorder app and feeding that back to you as if you're on the other end of the line listening to me as part of a phone call. So let's go ahead and test that out now. Okay guys, so you're now hearing the audio that's coming directly from the One More Comfort Buds Pro. I'm recording this in a voice recorder app on my MacBook Pro, but I'm playing it back to you guys directly from using the microphones inbuilt into this. I've had a playback of this as well myself, and I think the audio quality is so good. It's as good as the audio quality on my new MacBook Pro with the internal microphone, which actually has very sharp audio and deep bass quality in its internal mics. They've done an excellent job with the microphones. I've reviewed plenty of headphones in the past which have had very poor microphones and when I've done this exact same test, it's been so bad, it's been mumbled, the frequency in them is just so poor, but this is so clear. I can even hear the deep bass in my voice as well. So I can be very comfortable knowing that the person on the other end of the call is hearing very clear audio from me. Check them out, the link is in the description below. They run some offers from time to time, but I also have a discount code for you guys. So make sure you go ahead and check that in the description so you guys can get some discount on buying these on either the white or the black versions. So if you did like this video and you do like headphone reviews and all things tech, I have multiple videos out every week, which I know you're going to like. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hope you like this video. I will catch you guys next time. Take care.